Hey guys, I'm Julie and welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is part of a back to school series. Um, it's all about getting organized and ready for the school season. Today's video, I decided to pop on here real quick and show you something um, I'm going to do and I have a few different options, um, but it's all about a homework station for your kids. Um, whether your kids are in school and they come home and do homework or you're like me and my kids um, do homeschool, Either way, they need something to transport their materials in because my kids will sometimes be doing school in the dining room, sometimes it's the living room, sometimes it's their bedroom. So um, today we're going to, I'm going to just give you a few different options for a homeschool caddy that they can move around as they need. Okay, so this is the first option. Um, this is a, um, a metal um, caddy. I got it for $13 at... TJ Maxx. Um, this one has pros and cons. The compartments are rather large, so as you can see, the pencils and everything kind of, they don't stand up straight, so everything's kind of falling in there. But um, I do love that it's easy to carry around. I also love this really wide compartment back here. Um, notebooks, paper could go in here, a ruler could lay sideways. Um, a calculator. I mean, it just has a lot more space than some of the other options. But then, like I said, it's deep and it's also very wide. So some of the things that you might put in your um, caddy kind of get lost in here. Um, so let me show you another option. Okay, here's another option. I also found this at TJ Maxx and it's... Um, a spinning one which I really like because if all of your kids are at the same table and um, it's just easy to spin around to the other side if you need to the negative with this is you can't fit larger things like paper notebooks coloring books anything like that in it um, but the compartments are a little bit smaller so things do tend to at least stand up um, in the different compartments and I could fit everything except for the paper. And obviously you could get a smaller stapler. It doesn't have to be this big one. But here is another option. This was also $13 from TJ Maxx. Here's a much less expensive option. This is a caddy from the Dollar Tree. Um, and as you can see, it this one does fit the paper and the um, notebook. However, I did notice if, if I didn't have enough weight on the side, it wanted to tip because uh, it is just lightweight plastic. But um, there isn't as many compartments in this one. However, you can get everything in here. Um, it's just basically your budget. and These would, because they're so cheap, you could easily get them for every kid. Another thing I found at the dollar store, which would be cute for desks, um, if your kids do school at their own desks, you could fit um, your pens and pencils, crayons. I guess you couldn't fit too many crayons in here. But then you could put um, small things like an eraser, staples, um, anything like that in these little drawers. Or they could go together if you needed more space. You could put your crayons in here, put your pencils and highlighters in here. And it came in three different colors, orange, blue, and green. And I have um, a couple more options to show you. Another simple option is just to get a flat basket. Um, you, you could just lay everything in here. It's not as um, separated and organized, but you can fit a lot in here. And it's also portable. And I think this was from Home Goods a while ago. I'm not exactly sure. I've had this in my house for a while. Um, but that's another option. And the final option is just a simple container. This is um, like a Looks like a paint bucket and it's from Michaels and if you just needed basic stuff like pencils and um, maybe glue this is a really good option because um, you can fit stuff in here and it's also portable with a handle um, or it can go on people on your kids desks um, but that's another option and these are pretty inexpensive so hopefully that helps with some different ideas for making it um, a little more efficient and organized after school when the kids have homework to do. And um, just give this video a thumbs up if it was at all helpful. And subscribe below for the other homeschool videos, and I will link them below as well. Um, have a great day.